Hey guys, let's get right into the topic and not waste each other's time. Here's the thing. These two are senses and we are going to understand on what their functions are. How do we know whether the function is uh, the sensor is broken or faulty or needs to be replaced? And what are the differences between these two sensors? Okay, in which fridges these sensors are used and in which fridges these sensors, this sensor is used. Okay, they both are sensors to be exact, but they've got different names. This is a different sensor. If you take a look at it and this is a different thermostat but their function is both the same they detect the temperature of a fridge and once it reaches a level of the the cooling it would cut off the compressor and turns on the heater okay but if the sensor is broken these two sensors the fridge would most likely to overcool and block all the ventilation uh, holes of the fan okay and then it will somehow uh, affect the cooling of the fridge. In usual, in, in normal cases, the below part, the chiller part of the freeze fridge section would start to become less cold, and the freezer part would become would be cold, but not would not be able to freeze. Okay, in most cases, but in some cases, the the fridge just does not cool at below, and it's fine at above. Okay, so this is when you know that it's a problem of a sensor. Alright, usually the case of the sensor is 90% when there's, when the fridge is less cooling. Okay, whenever your fridge is less cooling, it's usually 90 to 95% the problem of these two things. Okay, but these two things are very different. You cannot use this sensor in a place where you need to use this one. And you, don't, you cannot use this one at the place where you can use this. It's vice versa. Okay, so this sensor is usually found in fridges that are a bit older, which are not new models. And these sensors are usually found in new models. Okay, I cannot tell what exact year, but these models, it, it's different for every single model of the fridge. Okay, so this, this, these sensors are usually found in fridges that have PC board. PC boards, remember, which has motherboard and not timer system. And this, this different thermostat is found in fridges that have timers. Okay. Okay, I'll explain what a timer and what a PC board is in a, quad, in, in a while. So this is what a timer is, if you guys look. This is usually used with this. Alright. If you've got the timer at, in, in the fridge, you have this one, not this one. Alright. And this is a PC board. Okay. This is used in this. Alright. So if you have a sensor, you most probably have a PC board, okay? But if the fridge is overcooling, it's not a problem of the PC board. The PC board is fine and it's very expensive to actually change. And in most cases, you cannot find one. But timers are very easily found and it is very cheap. You can DIY yourself. You don't have to call a technician, okay? And if you guys take a look, this is a thermostat. This is a timer, okay? They both would cost you below below what you even think and this one would cost you above hundreds all right but this one is not usually broken uh if the fridge is not cooling at all or the fridge does not have lights at all or it's not even turning at all then in that cases you have to change one of these pc boards you have to check which one's broken now this is a samsung ones okay and this one is a sensor all right so and usually, usually when the fridge is less cooling, it's probably 90 to 95 percent problem of this, these two things. Okay, we just have to see in which fridges we have to use this one, and in which fridges we have to use this one. I hope you guys understand. I tried my best, but I, I'm in a quite rush. People were asking me, they were calling me, how do we know this yada yada? So I had to make a basic video. But if you guys really need a detailed video, I'll have to somehow manage my time and make a video for you all thanks for the support thanks for the love and i just want you guys to learn what i know all right i don't do i don't actually do this for views i don't actually do this for anything okay that's why you will see my account is growing but i don't actually pay attention to it but i hope you guys actually feel that i am working on it and i'm trying my best to explain thanks a lot thanks a lot thanks a lot